In this video, I'm giving you three tips to slide in the DMs to help your music career. What's up guys, Brandon here from KDMR Music, the channel making you a more successful musician. Now, I do that every week through videos about music marketing, music business strategies, and education. So if you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, then hit the notification bell so you don't miss out. Now, everybody comes to a point where there's someone who has something that they need to grow, right? Now, you might see it on Instagram all the time where people are like, you know, a new, you know, the new hotness, the new rappers coming to town, or there's some industry professional dropping game. There's something going on, right? And you are now aware that this person is someone that you need to be in contact with. And here's what usually happens. You slide in the DM, say, hey, man, check out my new single. I'm an up and coming artist. You know, I'm really serious. I'm doing it big around here. Check me out. And you get ignored. Right. And so to help you avoid getting ignored, I'm going to give you three tips that you need to follow if you're planning on trying to slide into the DMs to further your career. Now, the first tip I'm going to give you is to always research the person that you're going to reach out to. Now, researching is for a few different things, right? You need to know who a person is. You need to know what they do and how it even relates to what you do, right? And the worst thing is for you to reach out to someone and they don't even do the thing that you thought they did anymore, right? Listen, 2020 was a hard year. The record labels, basically shut down, right? There's not a lot going on. There are a lot of people who may have worked in positions in the past who don't work those same positions anymore. So when you reach out to that A&R at Def Jam about getting signed, only to find out they don't work at Def Jam anymore or anywhere, not only is it awkward for you, but it can be infuriating for them as a reminder that they may have lost that opportunity. So you want to make sure that you're doing your best to do research about the people that you're reaching out to. Um, and it's not just about, you know, what job they do, but you want to make sure that you're reaching out to them in the way they would like to be reached. So you want to make sure you're doing that research too. check out their bio. A lot of people uh, will have information in their bio that says for inquiries, contact me at this email or text this phone number or visit my website to learn more. Right. So take those extra steps. Don't skip everything that they've already put out there to slide in the DMs. That's rude. And it shows that you don't pay attention to detail and you're probably not someone worth working with. So make sure you do that research. Check out their bio. Check out their LinkedIn profile. Check out their website. Check out whatever publicly available information there is before you build up the courage to reach out to them. Now, the second tip I'm going to give you isn't really for DMs at all, um, but it's about being visible and being engaging before you ever reach out privately. Social media is great because social media seems to give us access to people that we wouldn't have access to before, but that works both ways. It gives those people access to us as well. And so the great thing about social media is you can make your presence known without sliding in the DM. Make sure you're that person that always comments on the post, not, you know, saying something generic like, yo, man, great post, but really takes the time to, you know, be invested in what it is that person is doing, whether it's them releasing new music, whether it's them, you know, dropping, you know, knowledge on the timeline, whatever it is they're doing. If it's something that's interest you, then make sure you're commenting on that and being insightful, explaining why you're commenting, why this uh, this content was helpful for you. And what that does is it sparks that name, that name recognition. Right. So if I see you on my timeline posting or, or commenting on my post, it happens all the time here on YouTube. There are people who will comment on multiple videos or they'll go to Instagram and comment on multiple posts, right? And now if that person were to DM me, I've seen that name before, right? Now in my mind, I may not know if they're someone important that I've already met, someone who's one of my students already, or just someone who's a big fan. But either way, 
I want to take care of those people that support me. So when I see that DM, and I see your name pop up, if I've seen your name pop up enough times before, I'm at least going to read the message and see how we need to address things further. Now, the third and final tip is not to pitch people in their direct messages, right? When you send that direct message, it should just be an introduction to who you are and a request for more information, right? So let's do it like this. Hey, Brandon, I've been watching your videos for a long time. They've been really helpful for me. I really love the marketing advice that you give out, and I really appreciate it. I've got some ideas I want to run by you. What's the best way to contact you to give you more information about what I'm thinking? Right. That is a great direct message pitch. Right. It, it tells them, tells you how, you know, you, they know you. Right. Or how you know them and tells them a little bit more about you. And then it tells them or asks them what the best way to contact is, because most people do not want to conduct business inside their inbox. Right. Most people work nine to fives or they 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 have regular office hours and they have a designated space and time for where they're doing that work. So you want to ask them, hey, where's this designated space for you? Would, would it be best to hop on a phone call? Would it be best to um, email you? What would you like me to do to give you more information about what I'm thinking? Right. So in that direct message. Who you are, what you do. Make sure you tell them how you found out about who they are and then ask them for more information about where to send a pitch. Uh, now, this is information that sounds very similar to my perfect pitch template. So I will leave that in the description below um, so that, you know, when you are ready to send that email, what that looks like as well. So those are three tips for uh, having more success at sliding in the DMs to further your music career. Um, I want to know in the comments, what is your uh, career been like? What has your experience been like when you're trying to network with people in the industry? You're trying to uh, make a name for yourself and build more contacts and more relationships. Let me know in the comments of this video, and um, I'll see you in another one very soon. Until then, be safe, be well, keep dreaming, and work hard to make those music business dreams your reality. Peace.